Hi, and welcome to Exploring Creativity, episode four. So um, this week I wanna to touch just a little bit more again on fear, and then we're gonna give it a rest for a while because there's so much more to talk about, so many things I'm thinking about and reading that I wanna share with you and hear your thoughts on. So, um, so, and also I think fear is one of those things that we're just constantly gonna be in a relationship with. It's just a fact, and, and it's an important thing to be in a relationship with and, and keep figuring out how we want to be and, and different ways of interacting and stuff like that. So we'll, be, we'll, we'll keep visiting that topic. But um, today I just wanted to do one other little idea that I've been really thinking about a lot and, and over the last few weeks. And, I want to, um, to put it out and, and hear your, your thoughts and feedback about it. <clears throat> so the idea came from, from a friend and fellow artist, Joseph Connolly, who was telling me a few weeks ago about this different um, perspective on the whole Adam and Eve Garden of Eden story. Um, you know, the end of like the ultimate creation story, right? So, um, anyways, he had a different twist on it that, that really I've been mulling over. So here's the thing, right? Like most of us have grown up in this Judeo-Christian culture where we've gotten this story that, um, that Eve was, you know, convinced by the snake to eat the fruit of the tree that God had commanded Adam and Eve not to eat from. And... She ate from it and she convinced Adam to, and then they looked at each other and they saw their nakedness and so they hid, they covered their nakedness and then God's voice thundered into the Garden of Eden saying, where are you? And, um, and they hid and God's voice thunders again, where are you? And Adam says, we're hiding. You know, as if a God that created all of this would not have known that. Um, so God says, again, like the story is thunders again, like, why are you hiding? And, um, and so the, the twist though, that Joe presented, I don't know where he learned it from, but, um, was, okay, so in the biblical Hebrew, there are no exclamation points and, um, there aren't any stage directions either, you know, it didn't, it doesn't say, you know, in parentheses, God's voice thunders from above and finger points down and it doesn't say that. So what if instead of an angry God who's demanding, you know, like, why are you hiding? Where are you? Whatever. What if instead he was saying, where are you? Where are you? And instead of saying, why are you hiding? You know, and having them cowering. What if instead he was saying, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Who told you to hide? I didn't tell you to hide. Why would I tell you to hide? I made you. I made you just the way that you are. I made you with your impulsivity. I made you with your quirky personality traits. I made you with your you know, love of fruit. I made you with your difficulty in following directions. I made you just the way you are. Why are you hiding? Who told you I didn't? So I was just like, wow, that's like, that's such a different way to think about it because we do that, right? We're all hiding on some level and we've all, been told, maybe not all of us, but I think the vast majority of us, right, grew up in this, this, this world that, that 
there are people legitimately in power over us, you know, when we're kids especially, but even as adults, that, that we do feel like it could be dangerous on some, any level, whether it's emotionally, physically, spiritually, whether, we, whether we're just thinking about it as a story in our head or if it's actuality, that they do have power over us and that it's, it's a, a scary power that they really could, um, could hurt us. Whether they actually could or not is like something different, right? Like we, we have so many different stories in our heads. But it's, it's something that, that just every message kind of gives, right? Even, so there were also the, the Greek myths, right? There's Zeus with his lightning bolt that's going to come down and strike you, right? If, if, if you displeased him. Poseidon coming from the bottom, right? It's going to strike you if you displease him. And so many of us had, you know, parents that, that, you, there was like fear of displeasing or, you know, I, I know people who it was, you know, just wait till your father comes home and then you're going to get in trouble. You know, so but now we're adults, right? Like, I think, I think it's time to say no, actually, I'm not buying into that. I'm, I'm buying into the different story. I'm buying into the, where are you? I made you perfect with all of your imperfections, with all of your flaws, with all of the everything. I made you just the way you are because I need you to be part of creation. I need you to be part of this creation. That's why I made you and brought you into the world. So, um, anyways, what do you think about that? I, it's, really been thinking about that a lot. And then there was a second part that I'll just like throw out real quick of, um, of the consequence, right? The punishment, like God punished Adam and Eve for eating the fruit that he had said not to eat by making them work for their living and pain and childbirth. And so there was the other twist with that too of, okay, work I don't know about you but like I like the idea of sitting on a on a you know beach and and having like food brought to me and all of my needs met without having to lift a finger for you know a few days but other than that I, that doesn't interest me at all like I like working I haven't liked all of my jobs and I don't necessarily like every part of what I do but I like feeling like I have purpose and like I'm, I'm doing things to put into the world and to, to and that what I do has repercussions and, and, and comes back to me, sometimes in the form of money, sometimes in the form of goodwill, sometimes in the form of you know, food and all different kinds of things like that. So um, was it really a punishment or was it a gift? No, and there's the pain in childbirth. I haven't had the privilege of giving birth um, but I do know from the women that I know who've been given birth, it seems like it turns you from a woman into a mama bear. And I don't know if it would do it quite the same way if the babies just like were handed to us. I don't know. I'm not going to like, that's not something I want to debate. It's just a thought I'm putting out. And I mean, I'd love to hear what you think about it, but... It just does seem like, you know, there's a lot of stories that we have in our heads that we've created and there's stories that have been like inserted into us that we've taken at face value, but maybe there's different ways to think about them. So, all right, that's what I'm going to leave you with and I would really love your comments and your ideas. Either comment below and if you're on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get the updates. And um, otherwise, go to the website if you're not already there, exploring-creativity.com and leave messages there. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. And as for a project, so this is what I'm putting out to you because there really is this idea of like, who are you? And let's like find the courage to look and see because it is, it's scary. 
I, I think it's scary, you know, like, I've had so many years of covering, 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 like, I don't 100% know what's really there if I go naked, um, if I really uncover myself. So, um, but I'm up for, for working on it and giving it a try. So that's, an, you know, I'll just be, keep doing that for the rest of my life, I'm sure. But anyways, the project that I'll throw out to you is get out your pens, get out your markers, get out your glitter, get out your, any art supplies that, that really um, you love to play with. And write down the question, who are you? So you can see it, like make it in a poster, make it on the little thing that you put on your computer screen, write it on your bathroom mirror. And so you can be reminded of it through the day of like, yeah, who am I? Who am I? And just play with that idea. So um, I'll show you the one that I made this morning. There you go. Who are you? can say who are you who am I whatever whatever works for you there's no laws about it um, and no voice coming down saying you're doing it wrong <laughs> so there you go um, enjoy and I would love to see pictures of what you've done so you can send them to me on the website and other than that have a fabulous week and I will see you again next week all right take care